Hello, hello, hello. We are live again. Welcome all. Um, call me Mr. Unorganised tonight. I have had such um, a strange eBay day. I managed to get quite a lot of stuff done this morning. Uh, I've done the live on Instagram with Luke and Jamie around lunchtime. That was really good. Popped out to see the boys for a coffee and a chat and a catch up. That was really nice. Came back, finished the photos for tomorrow's listings. And then I found myself at six o'clock racing down to the parcel shop to drop off the parcels. So today's been a bit manic. But anyway, we're here. Thanks for joining the live. I'll wait for some people to come in and we'll get cracking on tonight's subject, which is all about how can we make money faster recently? The age old question. But before we start, I just want to double check. Can someone let me know in the chat if the sound is good before I carry on? speaking like an idiot to myself but anyway let's uh catch up with the people who are in so far uh lucy first in the chat so well done lucy for being first your prize is absolutely nothing i'm afraid um but jokes aside as you can see scrolling down the bottom my final plug for this i am doing a giveaway next week so next tuesday um seven o'clock the live's going to be it'll probably go on for about an hour and a half next week um, it's one year anniversary on YouTube. So I've got a guest on asking me questions about my first year on YouTube. And we're going to be doing the giveaway for a hundred pounds. So all the information is down there. Um, the donation can be 50p, it could be 5,000 pounds. You want to donate that, but any donations are greatly appreciated for a great charity. So that's the only plug I'm going to do on that tonight. But let me say a few more hellos. So RS is in, Ali is in. Limelight Vinti is in and they're saying it sounds good, which is good. Ian J, hello, hello. As I said, today has been a, a really good day, but really rushed evening, I would say. Uh, GT Pre Loved is in. So, and Pete's in. Hello, hello, hello. As I say, I can't say hello to everyone, but if you have any questions in the chat to make my life a bit easier, if you can put either a Q dash and then the question or question in capitals, just so I don't miss it. So, happy to answer any questions about eBay youtube or anything you guys may have now what i want to do at first is talk about how i am trying to make money faster on ebay now what i'm talking about is what i'm doing in my store it works for my business it might not work for yours so any information i give it's not telling you how to do it it's more giving advice on how i'd be doing it recently so for the people who do not know I am looking to move away from an everything store to a clothing store. And I have lots of things in my store I don't want sitting around anymore. So I've been running heavy markdown sales. And I'm talking about if the item's been in the store longer than 90 days, I've been running 50% off markdown sales. Now, you have to remember, for us in the UK, we can only run it for two weeks before we need to leave it on a two-week cool down, etc. So I've been quite aggressive on there. Um, coupon wise, most of the time I run anywhere between a 15 and 25% coupon in my store. I've actually been doing a 33% off coupon as well. And also promotions on listings. And I know promoting listings is a bit of a weird subject in the reselling community. Some people feel they shouldn't need to promote and I completely agree. But I feel I need to promote to get ahead of the people who feel they don't need to promote. So I promote everything at straight 10%. And when I'm buying items, I'm taking in all of them cost of good um, and the sale um, parts in my head when I pick up an item, which is why as well, I'm now starting to move away from the one pound to 10 pound, because once you work out everything, it's not really worth my time doing. So that's the that's the things I've been doing to increase sell through. And what I have been finding is the markdown sales really effective. Because what it does, it actually puts a slash through your price and it makes it red. So for a customer scrolling, they can straight away see that that is on a markdown. With a coupon, I find a lot of people will check out about using the coupon. So it's been a real benefit for me to do the markdown sale. But when the markdown sale is not running, I've been really pushing hard on the coupons. So I'm really interested to find out from your guys' point of view how long first of all you're happy for an item to sit on the store because i speak to people who are happy to leave it six months nine months a year as long as it takes at one point it will sell i'm more of the i'm more of the store now where i want things turning over within 60 days if it's over 60 days it's either a bad item it's priced wrong or i haven't listed it correctly as far as i'm concerned and i'm moving away from feeling like if i've got a bad item in the store I'm losing out if I take it down and redonate it or take it to a car boot sale because most of the things I buy, I buy in bulk. 
with say the phones for instance i'll buy a box of phones for three pound i might have made 20 pound already on the phones if something's sitting around i don't look at it as a loss now i look at it to say well i made money in the other stuff let me take it off the store so i'm really keen to find out from you guys about how you look to um sort of move things quicker because personally i don't want a five thousand ebay store of crap sitting around if i'm going to build up my ebay store to that kind of level i want things moving in and out i want to be turned over my store two or three times a year so um let's have a look here hillary's in tnr is in um uh, tap peddler is in hope you're good sell sell me real good stuff i don't have any good stuff no jokes aside i do i have a lot of good stuff that's unlisted so um yeah but if anyone honestly if anyone wants to shop my store i'm not promoting this i had someone shop my store the other day and it must have been a reseller because they bought 26 items and it was such a mix of stuff so george is in hope you're good so peter's saying i'm aiming to have max 90 days of stock trouble is getting rid of the old stuff is hard to do so pete what are you doing to try and get rid of that stuff because i feel i see a lot of stores who are doing a five percent coupon now as a buyer myself if i was to walk past a shop in the high street and see five percent off it wouldn't get me through the door if i saw 15 or 20 percent off i'm looking so it's really interesting when people are running coupons at what level they are running because i'm running quite hard on coupons at the moment and it is working so shout out to georgie as well so georgie's just moved into a brand new unit and his video was really inspiring to me as well from someone who has grown this ebay business from basically 30 pounds worth of stock to where it is now um and he made a good point in his video there he was saying to most people moving into a warehouse area isn't a big deal um sorry into a storage unit apologies georgie isn't a big deal where for me actually it's a huge deal because it's that next step you know, a lot of us have aspirations to have a warehouse, to have staff and X, Y, Z. A lot of us want to just continue doing it from home. You know, I don't know 100 percent where I want to be with it. Uh, but to see Georgie go to where he's come from and to where he's got to was so inspiring. So if you haven't seen it, please go and watch that. But anyway, a long intro to George there. But I'm phasing out of the listing until it sells mentality and pushing self into within at least six months, if not car boot will donate. Yeah, I've took a lot of stuff off the store to um, take to a car boot. I've also put all my books on a 99p auction. And I've also reached out to a bookseller, Steve, and said to him, whatever doesn't sell from this next two weeks of 99p auctions, uh, you can have for free. So there's probably stuff in there that he can make money on. I don't want to sit on it anymore. Uh, hi, Richard. Shout out to Richard. He donated to um, my fundraiser for the London Marathon before. Very generous donation. You didn't have to do that. And I'm really grateful. So he's entered into the prize draw. I did say I was going to mention it again, but there's another plug for the prize draw. GT Preloves. A fast turnover is definitely my target. I used to revise pricing after 30 days, but I've gotten a bit slack. So stick to 90 days is more usual now. Yeah, I think the more you can look at your current stock and revise pricing, the quicker obviously things are going to sell. I had an item the other day listed up for 59.99 and I looked and other items had been selling non-stop for a £45. Because I used to be in the mentality of if I do 59.99 and I chuck on a 30% coupon, it's going to bring me under but customers are not stupid okay so they're not going to see it as a discount they're going to see you've overpriced and you're trying to use a coupon to basically get it to where it is i reduced it down to 40 pounds and it sold overnight so go through your store see why items are sticking around is it your pictures description your listing or is it because your price is crazy you might have stuff priced at covid prices compared to what it is now for instance Hi, James. Big day for you today. Make sure you have a coffee this evening. Yes, Simon. I've got a um, I've got a coffee. So, yeah, today's been manic. We've done our Instagram live today. We normally do it Monday because we're liquid sourcing. Um, but, yeah, I have been nonstop since first thing. And then after this, I did a UK call within the group as well. So it's going to be a late one. And talking of the main man, Luke, who is um, I'm really enjoying the chats with him, actually. He's he's very much like me, like minded business mind. And I met Luke for the group. I met other met Dirty Dunton as well. And uh, he's saying 20% minimum for him for the coupon. 
Hi, Alan. Hope you're good. Um, shout out to Alan as well. He sent me some Arsenal memorabilia. It hasn't arrived yet, Alan, so I'm hoping it's going to come tomorrow. I'm really keen. And what I will do is show um, you guys next week what Alan was kind enough to uh, send me. But yeah, I really appreciate it. As I said, I don't expect anything from anyone here. Um, I'm grateful that I've got 47 people watching me chat for an hour this evening. So uh, that was so kind. Alan. I'm so grateful. So Peter's saying, I reduced price. I have an 8% coupon of standard that offers 10 to 20% um, off, depending on how long I've had it. Yeah, the um, send offers part is great as well. And again, if anyone doesn't have best offer on their listings and GSP on their listings, switch both on now. Because the GSP is so simple. And actually, I feel a bit more protective with GSP compared to even sending it within the UK. But with regards to best offer, Pete's got the right idea then. So my coupon, say it's at 25%, my offer is 30% I'm sending to customers. And then I attach the 25% coupon as well. You're kind of giving them the extra nudge. And other things I've been working on, and I probably need to get a bit better doing it as well, is things such as newsletters and sending coupons to buyer groups. I have found when I've been doing a 33% uh, of coupon, I sent it to my buyer groups, the sales have gone through the absolute roof. And another thing I'm doing as well, and I'm talking a lot about coupons tonight, I'm actually running one as a bit of an experiment, which is buy one, get one 50% off. But there hasn't been as much of a, people haven't been using it as much as the 33% off or even the 25% off. So I might change the priority to make that appear first for customers and see if I can really get things moving quick. No worries, mate. No, I love that video. I showed um, I showed Liam when I got home because, um, I watched it when I was out and I showed him when I got home and I said, like, fair play to him. Like, I felt a bit, like, welled up at the end, George. I don't know whether it was the music you put to it. But I I met George on the 24-hour live. Um, and just to let people know, again, the next 24-hour live is next Wednesday at 10 o'clock. Everyone's welcome to come and join. Um, but I met George through that and I never spoke to the guy before. He's been on my live. I've had chats with him on Instagram and stuff. And he's, he's such a good guy. And he does a lot for the reseller community as well. And to see, to see someone come from where he's been to where he's got to, mate, it was so inspiring. I, I said I felt a bit choked up at the end. Simon says, I've been running a 50% markdown sale. Yes, that's what I've been doing. 50% daily coupon and 7% promoted listing. So you're doing what I'm doing, Simon, the hard, aggressive sales to get things moving. I think it's the way to go. I mean, for my, I say I think it's the way to go for my business. Other people are happy to buy an item and sit on it for a year, and that's absolutely fine if it works for you. I'm very much in, out, reinvest the money. In, out, shake it all about, we could say. West Lanks Flip, hello, hello, good evening. Fuzzy Feet, my boy Fuzzy Feet's in. Um, hoping to meet up with him and uh, Jamie Dodger Jane soon. Uh, I think we're going to go car boot sailing and for breakfast, hopefully, as well. So um, fingers crossed we get some nice weather soon and we can do that. Talking of boot sailing, I hope to go to Dunton on Sunday. Um, hoping the weather's good. It looks a bit hit and miss at the moment, so we'll have to see. This is a new name for me, Tango Two Pints. Epic name. Good evening. Hope everyone having a good week. My week's been good, I must admit. The weekend sales was um, really good for me. I think I had 39 at the weekend. I dropped off, um, I think it was 18 in total this evening, but some have been today's orders as well. So, yeah, it's pretty. it's been a pretty good week, to be honest. I see a lot of things, again, in the um, UK Facebook groups about eBay slow, summer slowdown. I don't buy into the summer slowdown personally. I think if you're buying just jeans, for instance, yeah, you're going to probably slow down in the summer. But if you are buying items that people are interested in all year round, you know, T-shirts, for instance, on the clothing side, and especially now shorts on the clothing side, they are flying. And if you are selling paddling pools in the summer as an everything seller, guess what? Your business is not slow. So the summer slowdown to me is not a real thing i think we make it up as resellers as a reason why our sales aren't where we want to be but only we can change that we are in full control hussey's in program i've caught a live get in yeah i speak to hussey's funnily enough i speak to him the most in other people's lives and other pete's lives or um also in on chris's daily refinements live i sometimes see him in there so yeah, I've got the track in, mate. All good. I think it is arriving tomorrow, so no stress. But, yeah, so grateful, as I say. And I will um, I will do a bit of a show and tell next Tuesday um, before the call, if you don't mind. Show people what you've sent me. I love the Arsenal stuff. 
Uh, George is saying, I promote standard 3% across the board, push it 5% in the mornings and evenings now and 7% on the weekend. So, okay, so you're changing your promotion throughout the day. I had a voice note um, yesterday about whether I change my sales and my pricing on a Monday and then sort of change it again on a Friday. For me, I don't care what day of the week my item sells, okay? It can sell Monday morning, it can sell Sunday evening, it doesn't matter to me. So I don't really change my pricing in that way. What I try and do is when I review my items after 30 days, I will then go through and I'll look at the items and say, well, how come that hasn't sold then? And I'll do a bit of a deep dive. Not into every single item, it's impossible, but I'll try and pick 20 to 30 items every single week that I'm going through to kind of look at what's going on. Just talking about you, James, hopefully making that meetup happen with Fuzzy Feet as well, Karim. Um, it'd be really good to boot sale together, let you two argue and bitch about all the shoes you're going to fight over at the boot sale, leave all the clothing to me and everyone's happy. And then we'll go for some nice breakfast and chat about it. All right, Lisa, I hope you're good. Why would you Why would you do a 30% sale? Why not reduce the price by 30%? Just curious. Well, that's a good point, Pete. To be honest, what is going to attract the customer more? I think people like seeing that slash through the price. And I think people like seeing a hefty coupon. And the reason I do that is because I don't want to go into the whole store and reduce the whole store by 30%. So I'd rather the customer have the chance to use a coupon and pick and choose what they want. And also that coupon I run at 30% isn't for the whole time. So I might run that coupon for one day. I might run it for two days. I might run it for a week. And then it might drop down to 25%. So I don't always run it at 30%. But yeah, it's a good point. Why don't we reduce the price by 30%? I guess the part as well, if you reduce the uh, price by 30%, so my maths is terrible, so apologies. But say we've got an item up at £30, 30% makes it £21. Don't quote me if I've got that wrong. But then they could still use a coupon on top. So that's another reason why I don't. So say I've got a 20% off coupon, you're actually giving the customer a lot more. Husties, this is fine. I don't mind against the grain because, as I say, all I'm talking about tonight is what I do. I'm not saying it's the way to do it. I say it's the way I run my store. But, OK, this is my go against grain. But I have just sent quite a lot to auction each month and set the start price reasonably whilst having buy it nows. I don't do coupons much. Uh, neither do I promote. Yeah, so I must admit, I've been doing a lot more auctions. And I looked earlier and I have at the moment 79 items in my store on auction. Predominantly books, but some other stuff as well. All started at 99p. Um, there'll be a lot of things that don't sell. And what I'm going to do is with the books, run it for another week before I take them off the store. I am done with the books now. I've made so much money from that big book bundle. And for anyone who's followed me from the start, you would know I, I bought over 4,000 books and I made some serious money off the back of them. I probably have now... Oh, 45 bundles left, maybe 40 bundles left of the um, huge book bundles I had and some other ones in the store. I am so done with the books. So um, I'm running in an auction now. Any books I list up, because I've got some more to list up from the other plug guy I've got, I'm sticking them all in auction because I don't want to be sitting on books anymore. But auctions are a good thing. And I think a lot of people don't do it because you're not going to get the full price. But I'd rather run it on a 99p auction and get some traffic into your eBay store because I believe that. If people are looking at your listings, you're getting traffic in there. I don't buy into the summer slowdown either unless you're selling gaming. Mm. But even then, there's people who don't want to go outside and play and they want to you know, sit inside and play games consoles as well. So the summer slowdown for me is just something that resellers have made up personally. Again, all of these are my personal opinions. You disagree. You're not wrong. It's fine. Tab Pella says sales uh, may get you high in the algorithm and also makes the item show it's been marked down and everyone likes a bargain. Yeah, I completely agree. Eve, I find my traffic goes sky high when I run a marked down sale because eBay sees you as someone who is open. You're ready to sell. You're ready to make eBay money. So I find by running them, it's just annoying that we have to wait for that two week call off period. Um, in America, they don't, for instance. So they can run a markdown sale for three days and then run one for seven days. And, it, you know, but UK laws, we can't, which is very frustrating. Lisa says she does 5% of everything. Tama Bell, hello, hello. Hopefully going to be meeting up with Tama Bell next month when we go to Scotland. We're going to go to a car boot with them and hopefully some breakfast. And, uh, yeah, so excited to meet them too. 
and also um, potentially tap peddler, tap peddler as well, because I believe he potentially goes to the same car boot. So fingers crossed. James does 2.1% of all items, usually let them sit for the first 24 hours with no promotion. Yeah, I used to do something similar, James. I used to let my items sit for a week and then promote everything after a week. Um, now I just do it as I list it, it gets automatically promoted. And I know some people, again, are going to say not all items need 10% promotion. I completely agree. But I haven't got the time and I don't want to sit through and go through each item and say, well, actually, this gaming item probably needs to promote at 2.1%. This uh, pink stuff bottle, I've just grabbed it. The first thing I can grab, um, I need to promote a 30% because of X, Y, and Z. So I just do a flat 10% across the board and it works for me and it works for my business. And I think it's very much a case of you need to make sure you've got the margins there. For all the stuff I'm buying off the plug, as I say, it's costing me on average about 40 pence per item. So I have plenty of margin there. And uh, if I've got an item listed up at 39.99, if I get a 20 pound offer, guess what? I'm taking it. And I know that shocks a lot of people because a lot of people will have best offer on, have an item up for $39.99 they paid a pound for. They get an offer at 35 and they're not willing to take it. They go back at 37 You've got to kind of look at your business and say, I paid a pound and get £35. How many times can you reinvest that £35 in the long term? And that's where my mindset's gone to now. I'm thinking of doing Dunton tomorrow. Does anyone know if it's good midweek for selling? Got 200 kg of cloves to get rid of cheap. I believe it's a good car boot sell, whether you do it midweek or whether you do it Sunday side, to be honest with you. Um, I I follow um, Steptoe, Steptoe and Mum Sonny quite a bit, and he does some midweek stuff down there, and he normally seems really busy. So, yeah, I'll give it a go, mate. If it's um, viable for you to get to, I don't think it's too far for you. Uh, yeah, give it a go and report back. I'll be keen to know how you get on midweek. Excited, yeah, excited for our breakfast date with Fuzzy. Yeah, I want to see you two have a little scrap at the car boot. I need to make sure I get on camera because obviously I am Mr. Drama. As someone said the other day, I must bring all the drama to the car boot sales. Because when I saw John, run reseller, and there was drama down there, then I go to my car, my car boot sale, there's drama there. I don't look for it, but if it's there, I'll be honest with you, who don't want to see drama? It's foolish not for me to catch it on video. But one thing I will say, I will never be that clickbait person to say she punched me at the car boot sale and the video is one of the sellers like doing that to me on the side of the, the top or something. You know, I'm never going to be that kind of person. But um, I think if there's something something that happens at your car boot sale, why would you not show it? Again, my opinion, people are disagreeing. That's absolutely fine. Richard is saying it does depend on what you sell, but I do think some sellers use the blanket term summer slow down as an excuse. Absolutely spot on. And I'm glad you said it before I had to. Resellers will use that as an excuse. You know, as I say, I can sit there and I can scroll through the Facebook pages. We all know the ones I'm talking about. eBay sales are down. My eBay's down. eBay's crap. eBay's this. eBay's finished. I saw the other day eBay's finished. It's like for you, maybe. But for me, instead of sitting there typing it out on Facebook, I'm listing another five items while you worry about everyone in the comment section agreeing with you. And I will post on them and say, I'm flying. And that's not lying. You know, my eBay store is absolutely flying right now. My 90 day, and I know it doesn't matter, has gone up nearly £10,000 in the last 90 days since I made the decision to slowly move down and focus more on clothing and to concentrate more on eBay over YouTube as well. So eBay's not slow. It's uh, the effort you're putting in personally. My opinion again. Yeah, 48 watching. Up, uh, up the thumb and leave a lovely comment. Well, even if you don't leave a lovely comment, leave a comment, okay? Because even the uh, nasty comments are fine. No, joke aside. Yeah, please like the video on the way out. It always does help. I know we, as YouTubers, always say like and subscribe and X, Y, and Z. But if you do like the content, just click that thumbs up button. That's what we ask. Hi, Donna. I hope you're well. Um, I don't really believe in the summer slowdown either. So oh, hold on a second. The brothers are agreeing. This is good. Uh, get stuff listed and it will sell. Many stop listing when sales slow. Yes. So I this is where my mentality has really changed as well. Um, tap peddler, tap peddler. Subscribe to tap peddler. That always uh, rings a bell when I watch your videos. Tap peddler, tap peddler. Um, I used to have the mindset, and this is probably going to blow your mind. And I spoke to Luke about this many a time. I used to have the mindset of when I hit £100 in the working day, my day's over. 
So I could walk into the shed 10 o'clock, have two good sales, a free good sales, a hundred pounds. Yeah. And I would say, right, day off today, what can I do? And I was like that for about six months. And I used to think to myself, as long as I'm making a hundred pounds, now my mentality is completely different. If I have a two, three, four, five hundred pound day, I want more. So I will work even harder, work even harder, work even harder. And strangely, I don't really sit and watch my phone of how many sales I'm having. I kind of have a look. Of course, we all do and respond to offers. But I don't really worry so much now on the day to day. I focus on the year on year. So I compare what I'm doing this year to the year before. I don't compare to the year before that because it's partly COVID year and it's very difficult because we all know we were selling them weeds at 200 pound bundles and there's no chance you're getting that these days. Hello, Double Karma. Hello, hello. Um, so people are agreeing with regards to the um, summer slowdown. I agree, Derek. It's easy to get demotivated. I totally understand that. Trust me. But you have to just push and make uh, really make sure you've got all your bases covered. Yeah, I think if sales are down, you've got two options. You can either moan about it or you can fix it. And we are in control. Put it this way. We kind of work for eBay. eBay is our boss. It doesn't matter how you put it. Or it doesn't have to be eBay. Any platform you sell on. You work for them effectively, okay? eBay is not punishing you because they need to make as much money as possible. But why should they give Joe Bloggs, who is listing one item a month, all the traffic in the world, when you've got Husties, who's listing 20 items a day, for instance, and he's consistently listing, consistently sending offers, accepting offers, trying to move stuff, selling. They're going to go to Husties and give them more traffic. So that's the way you've got to look at it. You are in sole control of how much you make on eBay. I believe in that. Agreed on the offers. I consider most offers over half price. Yeah, I I had one before the live stream, had a REM shirt up for £59.99. Someone offered me £35, paid a pound at the car boots out, accepted it. They paid straight away. The customer feels they've got a great offer. I've still made some great money. Let me reinvest the cash. Alice says, Derek, when is your next barn video? Uh, yes, I've been following uh, Derek's barn videos. Um, I think that place is going to look unbelievable once you've finished. Um, I know you've got a lot of work to do, but I'm enjoying watching the journey. Thank you for documenting that as well, because sometimes you see the before and after and that's it. Um, I'm really enjoying, and this is going to sound really awful. I don't mean this in an awful way. I'm really enjoying watching the struggles you come up against within the barn as well. Stuff that a lot of people won't think about and probably stuff that you're going to come up against that you didn't even consider. So, yeah, thanks for the, um, thanks for sharing that journey. It's really fun to watch. Mm. What's people's best tactics for title structure, e.g. order of wording, commas, no commas? I've been playing around a bit um, and it can really have an effect. So for me, again, for me, I'll say this all night tonight. I don't have any commas in there. OK, um, and it depends on the item. If you search on Google or through eBay, eBay's actually created a document which shows you the best title structure as well. Follow eBay's guide and that's the way to go. But it all depends on your category. But, yeah, I don't do commas. I don't do um, the and symbol. I don't do emojis. That's another one that really gets me. People who put flames emojis in their titles. Like, who is searching flames emojis when you're looking up items? So, yeah, clear and concise title. But if you um, if you look on Google, there's actually a eBay um, thing that shows you the title structure. What I'll do as well, Hustings, I will dig it out and I will post it on my um, Instagram tomorrow as well. I'll make a, I'll make a little mental note of that and uh, I'll post it, the thing I've seen on eBay. And that's what I use and it makes so much sense. You missed a good car boot on Wednesday last week. There was three cars and a van. Jake, was that um, was that Borden or Moss End? I don't normally go to a midweek car boot, especially at the moment, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was thinking about going tomorrow. I was going to text James and see where he was going, but I've got so much other stuff to do. So um, I tend not to go to midweeks, personally. Got loads of barn videos to edit as a bit behind. Yeah, so you'll notice, Derek, mate, editing videos it takes so much time. Um, Adam from um, Flip Room. Is it Flip Room? I made it up. Flip Room, yeah. Adam from Flip Room done a YouTube video yesterday and he actually said that on his Instagram story, like shout out to the YouTubers because he didn't realise he forgot how long it takes to edit a video. I've got a really interesting video I've created the thumbnail for 
and in my head i've got the storyboard of how i want to create it it's different to normal it's not car boot sale it's not a picking it's not a packing it's completely different and it's very out there um and i've been planning this video for three weeks now and i keep putting off recording because i can't mentally get past the whole thing of just do it so i've made a plan tomorrow i'm going to record and that video accountability on the live tonight that video will be released on friday evening and i think it'll be an interesting one to a lot of people lisa says ebay is still king out of all the platforms i believe so lisa um i think posh is doing really well i speak to a lot of people who are doing posh and are really enjoying it really enjoying the posh lives i enjoy jumping in there i think it's a really good aspect as well but i think ebay is undefeated still as number one they just need to make sure that they see these other platforms coming up that they don't become complacent and feel they'll always be number one because um at some point and this is for the older people in the chat msn messenger was undefeated and nothing was going to challenge it and now no one uses msn messenger all right so there's my comparison to ebay and other people where can i get stock that isn't boot sale so um plug for my instagram go over to bold finds instagram myself luke and jamie spoke about um sourcing today there's plenty of other places you've got auction houses you've got online sourcing you've got local sourcing you've got jumble sales you've got jumble trails you've got like you said car boot sales there's facebook marketplaces making connections there's making contacts on instagram there's plenty of places there's online depending on what you do so go and check out the Instagram live. We spoke a lot about that today. To be fair, eBay is crap. They can hardly keep it working on a weekly basis. I'm damn sure they have fixed that recently. Yeah, they're making a few changes, eBay. They are introducing the whole thing, I think, of um, for auctions that you have to put in your card details before you bid. And you're kind of locked in if you bid. But there's pros and cons to that. A lot of people will say, oh, that's amazing because now we're not going to have the non-payers. For me, I'd rather have a non-payer not pay for four days and me just to relist compared to all the cancellations that are going to come from this. I really hope that eBay gets stronger with like a free strike system. So, for instance, say Joe Blogs was to bid on three of my items um, and not pay, they get a month ban from eBay or something along them lines. I don't think eBay are going to do it, but um, I think that'll be the way to go. Thanks, George. George is uh, helping out with some other ways to um, source. Um, yeah, it is. That is so easy to do, James, about saying, oh, I've made so much money. Let's have the day off. Do you know why it's easy to do? Because no one's kicking your ass telling you to go back to work, which is why you need, I believe you need to surround yourself with accountability partners or a partner who will say to you, what's your plans today? Update me throughout the day. How did you get on today? And I have that personally, um, because otherwise, who's to say, you know, you don't just do that. And don't get me wrong. Do I slack off from time to time? Yes. But now I only slack off once I've got my basic work done. I could always be doing extras. But last week I was finished at half 12. I'd done the gym. I'd done everything. And one o'clock till five o'clock, I sat inside and put my feet up and relaxed. You know, you're allowed to do that as your own boss, but you can't do that every day. We all know that. In the Facebook group, it's always the same sellers complaining. Absolutely, mate. They'd be better putting the time in waste. Yeah, so that's what I say. Instead of moaning and getting all the opinions from everyone else who are going to agree with you that eBay's rubbish, why don't you just list some more items on eBay? And let's be honest, when they're posting, is eBay slow for anyone? They don't care about the people who are going in there saying, no, eBay's absolutely fine. I, my sales are flying. It's the best month I've ever had. They won't like that comment. They'll like the comments saying, yeah, my sales are slow because that's what they want to hear. So uh, I'm the same. Instead of moaning on Facebook about it, fix it yourself. It's all down to you. Hi, Kathy. Hope you're good. There we are. So another good site. If you open an account on Easy Live Auctions, there are lots of houses on there. Yeah, so that's good for online. Also, just Google auction houses in my area and there is loads. But thanks, George, mate. I appreciate that. There we are. Hopefully I've given you some more sales. Um, I I made a really good buy today as well. I'm sure it's you, Husty. I'm sure there's there's a couple of people I get confused. I'm sure it's you who buys a lot of football shirts. Quote me if I'm wrong. Um, but I made a really good purchase on some football shirts. Um, I'll drop you a message later on, on Instagram and I will show you what I've got. It's from my cousin. Um, made him a fair offer. He wanted 40 quid and I um, 
I gave him 120 quid. Um, but there's some cool ones there. So if I remember, Husty, I'll drop you a message on Instagram and show you. I'm sure it's you who does football shirts. There's a couple of them I get confused of. Just tried the 20% coupon. Normally, I only go as far as 15%. Going to try and detach myself from my items and get them moved. TNR, uh, apologies, I don't know your, your real name, but TNR, you have just made the best quote there and something that I learned to do. Detach yourself from your items, okay? We are buying, right, we are resellers. We are buying items to sell. We are not shoppers. And that, for me, was a real thing because I used to get so attached to so much junk that I would never use, you know. Oh, I paid five pounds for this. I've got a list at a hundred pound. I've had an offer of sixty pound. Oh, I can't take it because it's worth a hundred. It's not worth a hundred. It's worth a hundred to who? It's worth sixty pound to that customer. So detach yourself from the items, and it's an absolute game changer. But yeah, let us know how you get on with a twenty percent coupon. Um, okay, so I used to use commas, but I've started not to, as it gives extra characters. Yeah, absolutely. Try and use as many decent keywords in your title as possible. No one is searching a comma. No one is searching a flame emoji. I use flame. People have done love hearts. People have done smiley faces. It's crazy. Cheers, James. I do try and follow the structure, but it seems um, different for each category and items. Yeah, I think clothing for me, I've got it nailed down now to how I should list the clothing item. And again, that's from learning from lots of good clothing resellers. For the everything side, my titles, I feel, are sometimes a bit all over the place. As you say, it depends on the category. I think once you niche into a category, mate, it becomes a lot easier to know exactly the same title structure and it becomes repetitive as well. Uh, let's have a look here. Derek saying, yeah, it takes ages to edit and worse if you have a backlog and been a while. Yeah, it's one of them where you kind of need to say to yourself, right, this Friday is an editing day and kind of do it all in one go and then just try and schedule your videos out because you don't want to release all like three or four videos on the same day. So um, just do it. Yeah, the famous Nike quote, but it is that. Just do it. Just get on with it. That's what we've got to do. Yes, mate, Borden, I uh, think I'll just stick to Sundays. Yeah, so um, I'm probably going to be at Dunton this Sunday, probably the A3 this Sunday after. I need to go down to Cardiff for the roadshow, so maybe Cardiff the week after that, and then I've got Scotland. I think it'll be quite a while till I'm back down Borden. We shall see. Lucy says, editing videos is the worst part. I have three videos to edit. It's, it's really weird. It's the part I enjoy the most. And I don't know why that is. I think I'm, I like being creative because I'm not really that creative. I mean, with eBay, can you be that creative? We basically buy stuff, we process it, we list it, we do photographs and we pack it and ship it. So I think the uh, YouTube side brings out that creative spark from me. I'm really loving learning the YouTube side. And I treated myself to a Mac Mini 2, um, a powerful bit of kit which is going to make editing videos a lot quicker to me. I was finding with my laptop, although I've got a Mac and it's really good, when I upload videos from the GoPro to the Mac, it takes ages. So I've uh, treated myself a little bit. Editing is a time sucker. So kind of like it, though. There we are. That's what I was just saying there. Yeah, I liked your uh, Barbie Bolo deep dive. I sold so many Barbie dolls on a big auction. I got really good money for them. I probably sold one of the rare ones that's worth like 20 grand, but I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to look back at the pictures in case I have. Yeah, Tam, I'm exactly the same. Love the editing part, but eBay has to come first. So editing is now kind of my evening work or once I've done my eBay stuff. So um, as I say, tomorrow I'm going to film the video. Thursday evening, before I do the YouTube call, I think I'm going to try and edit it. And I'll probably spend Friday morning finishing the edit on that as well. I don't know what Blockbusters is about, but uh, have I missed something about Blockbusters? Are you talking about the video shop? I used to go to Blockbusters. I used to get a uh, a rental PlayStation 1 game from Blockbusters. And the amount of times I used to return it late and it used to cost me like eight or 10 quid, I probably could have bought the game outright. Uh, let's have a look here. Good news, £220 car service. Bad news, needs a can belt kit 700 i have been in your boat when my van broke down the way to uh see my brother down in devon um oh my god coming back and that bill was oh i can't remember the amount now it was a lot of money driving a vehicle whether it be a van or car is expensive but we need it you know um 
I, I try and walk a lot more now, funnily enough. When I drop the parcels off, I used to drive and now I walk. And when I walk down to, I now walk down to pick my items as well and carry them back in Ikea bags, hoping they're not heavy. Um, and partly it's because I don't want to keep grinding down the van. And that's another reason as well why when we go to Scotland, we're flying, me and the wife are flying, because I don't trust the van to get there. So we're going to fly to Scotland. We've got a car hired. She wants to go and see the harry potter bridge don't ask me i've seen harry potter once and i'll probably never watch harry potter again um we're potentially going to go and see loch ness um as they meet up with tam and bell and we've got some other things planned as well uh lisa spawn getting listings done first is what makes you the money absolutely youtube doesn't make as much money as people think and most in the groups blame the YouTubers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's all to these YouTubers that uh, I can't find this at the car boot anymore because everyone knows what everything's worth now and all these YouTubers have made it harder for us. Well, yeah, do you know what? We probably have made it harder for you, but it's time for you to adjust because most of the people in that group or in any of the groups moaning, guess what? I reckon 99% of the people probably started reselling based off the likes of Nick Hills or Tom, for instance, yeah, to name a couple. So I don't reckon they woke up one day and thought about it. And there'll be people who push back. <clears throat> but a lot of the younger people I see in there moaning about these YouTubers are probably people who watch our videos to see what to buy at the car boot. So uh, do you know what? Let them moan about the YouTubers, ruining it for everyone. We're horrible people, us YouTubers. I'll take a look. Yeah, for sure. I do sell them, but not loads. I'm only trainers and clothing, chap. Okay, yeah, maybe it was someone else's emporium. I get so many people confused. I've just set up a 25% sale for really, really old crap. You're an influencer. No, but look, Pete, try it and see. Try a markdown sale at 25%. Get rid of that old crap within your store and you're going to feel so much better. And what you will see is hopefully a rise in um, the amount of sales you're making. And you might kind of say, oh, I've took 25% hit on there. But you will find your traffic will go up as well. So you'll start selling some of the newer stuff as well. Run a little experiment. Let us know. I'm in no way an influencer. All I will ever do for you guys, okay, is come on here and tell you what I'm doing. A lot of you will disagree. And you know what? I want you to disagree because that's the whole point of it. You know, there's no eBay expert that doesn't exist. I'll just come and tell you what I've learned and what I'm trying, what I'm doing. And if things work for me, I'll come and share it. And guess what? If things don't work for me, I'll come and share that as well. So uh, you're going to get everything from me. Get along to Ardenley one Sunday, James. It's another large car boot. Yeah, I've been to the Ardenley one quite a bit. I saw um, I saw Pete there, actually. I mentioned to Pete about the Ardenley one. I saw him there a couple of times. Um, is that a, That's the South of England one, isn't it, mate? I'm sure it is. Yeah, I tend not to go to that one as much. It's more of my winter one, to be honest. Uh, Lou saying, I love filming the car boot um, sale. Just hope weather better soon. But we can't just rely on the car boots. That's the key is resale as well. And I keep pushing this a lot. Um, I need to plug it. I don't want to give away everything here. But next Monday on our Instagram Live we're doing, and let me talk a little bit about the Instagram Live. Um, myself and Luke just come up with the idea. Do you know what? Instead of us just talking about it, let's do a live and let's share the information. Let's get interaction from other people and to find out what they're doing. Next Monday, I'm going to reveal a big Thing that I have done with my business that has made sourcing very, very, very profitable for me. Very easy to do. Anyone could do it. I'm going to reveal it. And I wasn't going to share this, but I'm going to reveal it on the Instagram live on Monday. So there's a plug for the live. Bold clobber. We're going to go at 12 o'clock next Monday as well. Just to let you know. Let me catch up on the chat. Oh, Donna, James, I live on the edge of Loch Ness. We'll PM you in the Barna group to see when you're up. Yes, Donna, wherever you're in tonight in the UK, call. Um, let's have a chat. I want, um, sorry, I'm shaking the camera there. Apologies. I want to uh, get some ideas of what to do in Scotland. Obviously, I'm going to try the traditional Scottish food. And when I say traditional Scottish food, I'm talking about the deep fried Mars bar because that's all Scotland's known for. I'm joking, Scottish people, by the way. Um, I'm excited. I've heard it's beautiful. And actually, um, yeah, we're excited to have a look around to what's going on. I thought about um, it a lot doing YouTube, but I can't find enough time to do eBay, let alone film and stuff. Um, Hussies, I used to feel the same. You find time to do YouTube. Um, you will make time to do it. And honestly, if you feel like you want to do it, best advice is just do it. And that's the advice I got. It is so scary filming your first video. 
And even I get a bit nervous. It's weird about doing these lives because I am sitting in my shed talking to a camera, reading your comments. And you feel a bit stupid at times. I feel stupid walking down the road, vlogging stuff at times. But you soon become quickly comfortable. And uh, it's gave me so much confidence as well with filming and being on camera and being out there and kind of putting yourself out there. Um, but there is some bad stuff to YouTube. You get some negative comments, but the good outweighs the bad. So, yeah, do it, mate. If you fancy doing it, give it a go. What's the worst going to happen? The only time I use emoji and title is to highlight the word 40. Great idea like this if I'm selling 40 items, spares and repairs. Yeah, absolutely. But I bet you will say, oh, here we go. I was wrong. It has so far had a 100% success rate of stopping people not noticing the item as issues. Well, that is a great hack then. Because I was going to say, people don't read spares and repairs in the titles. The amount of times when I was selling more electronics, spares, repairs, parts only, props, testing, needs work. And you put it all in description and they buy it and they say, oh, I didn't realise it's spares and repairs when they receive it. Or they open up a case not working. Well, no, I've told you 15 times in my listing. Hence another reason, the little rant on spares and repairs, why I'm moving into clothing. Because clothing might have flaws. Yes, so I'm going to have that aspect. But hopefully my jacket I send in a post is not going to break. Fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. Hawkins Emporium. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Let me off. Both Emporiums and both with a H. That's why. Um, if you fly to Scotland, then you can darn well fly to Northern Ireland bowl fly. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I know. We've been, we love Ireland. Um, we had the best time in Ireland, honestly. Irish people are lovely. Um, I will see Double Come. I can't promise it because, believe me or not, it's costing quite a bit to go to Scotland. But uh, maybe soon, maybe not within the road trip, but maybe one day. And I will make sure I come to your car boot sale, especially. Um, oh, Arden Lee's another one then in Colchester. Arden Lie, maybe, is what I was thinking about. That's down near Brighton. Um, it's good that you're so open to help others, James. Yeah. And you know what? I want to be completely open. I will answer any question. Um, don't get me wrong. There's some stuff I will not share. So what you see on YouTube in the small 15, 20 minute videos you see of me and what I talk about on Instagram, that is only a small part of my business. I see Bold Finds now as a brand and that might make some people laugh. Some people are like, what an idiot. You're just an eBay seller. Well, I don't see it as that because of the YouTube audience. I've got some other stuff going on in the background as well. So um, I am very open. And if anyone ever was to message me asking me any questions, um, I don't share my 90 day on Instagram. And the reason I don't share that is because I don't want people feeling like I'm doing it just to flex, because that's not why I'm sharing it. I shared something yesterday and I've got such nice response and such nice interactions with regards to the sell through rate. Again, that is not me saying, haha, look at me compared to you, because it doesn't matter what I'm doing. Like to you, it matters what you're doing. For me, I'm just showing what's possible. And that's part of the reason for the conversation tonight. But yeah, I will always be very open with my channel. Um, and I will tell you where things have gone wrong. And there's been stuff that has gone wrong in the past. But right now, I must admit, I'm loving it. eBay's doing so well for me, so I'm buzzing for it. Uh, no, Vinted's not the one. We spoke about Vinted today. Um, it's something else. You've got to come along Monday. I'm not going to reveal it tonight. Even if you get it right, I'm not going to tell you. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace, charity shops, another couple as well. Um, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I haven't filmed in a charity shop. I might try one. I might try one. Oh, Tam, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I, I feel like my recruitment days helps with that. So I love these lives. I love doing the coffee pod when I have a guest on. It's been so long now since I've had a one-to-one -one guest on, so I'm excited about the 24-hour where hopefully I can get lots of faces in. Um, but, yeah, I must admit, COVID really shot my confidence down because going from a secure job to kind of being made redundant unexpectedly when I thought I was going to go back to the workplace, um, yeah, it really shot my confidence. So um, YouTube's been great to bring that back out of me. But, yeah, I appreciate it. I really appreciate my nice work. So Dev says, you and Ricky got me into reselling. Been doing it six weeks roughly now, and it's going well. Quick question. How do you get about posting golf clubs? I've been there, or do you do any collections? 
So, um, well, first of all, welcome to the crazy world of reselling six weeks as well. And I'm glad if I've inspired you to do it for the right reasons, I'm really glad. I love these messages because if I can inspire one person to give it a go, great. Golf clubs. I have sold many golf clubs in my time. Um, UPS used to do these really long boxes and it used to be free packaged on the website. But I think UPS now have stopped doing it. So if you're selling a whole set, I will use, let me see if I can grab it. I literally, oh, and I've had no complaints. I use this it's big shrink wrap. But what I will do is I'll wrap the whole bag. golf. So imagine you've got a golf bag and a golf set. I'll put it all in cardboard first of all, I'll wrap it. And then I'll use this shrink wrap. And touch wood, I've had no complaints. But you need to make sure it's under 120 centimeters for Hermes if it's bigger than 120 centimeters be super super careful because you could be paying a lot of money for postage so if you can get them to collect great if not a single club you might be able to buy some boxes off eBay to ship them in um because UPS don't do the package supplies anymore I believe but they might do so it's worth looking uh but if a whole set I rub uh wrap it in cardboard and a bit of bubble and I'll shrink wrap it and I have no problems whatsoever Yes, Lisa. So they won't read the measurements of clothing. So I now do the measurements in my pictures for that reason. So I don't actually type the measurements in for clothing. I do it in the pictures. And you're completely right. Some people still don't even look at that. Um, used to get returns of 40 stuff, not working, etc. None since doing this. No, well, hopefully not, Richard, mate. Um, it's a great idea. And that makes sense. But I'm not going to put. Here we go. This is fake, by the way. This is a vintage buy and it was fake. Um, probably going to keep it for myself in the gym. But I'm not going to put uh, Adidas, um, Ajax, football shirt, men's, what size is it? Men's extra large, um, rare, flames, 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 heart, heart, heart emoji. But for what you said there, it makes absolutely sense. Um, so Lucy's looking at doing uh, driving lessons. Um, probably next year, but due to my special need and confident anxiety, I will need to start on a track course, um, which means cost. Yeah, well, Lucy, what I will say as well, shout out to Lucy for starting a YouTube channel, because anyone who struggles with their special needs, confidence, anxiety, because I, I suffer with a bit of anxiety as well. Um, it's really good to put yourself out there and you will gain confidence from YouTube as well. So uh, yeah, get your get your driving stuff booked, because that just gives you the freedom as well, where you don't have to um, rely on anyone else to take you to the car boot. Don't get me wrong, James. I'm a gannet when it comes to sourcing, so I'll look at the shirt still. Yeah, I'll send you over some pictures later. Uh, I'm going to get them on Saturday. Really excited about some of these shirts. Yeah, your figures were amazing, so i share that too. Yeah, I've been putting off sharing the 90 day. My 90 day is nothing crazy, by the way, as well. I've seen some of the other people I speak to 90 days, and mine's nothing like that. So I might share it next week as a bit of a... Actually, no, I'm going to share it when I hit, hit my 90-day uh, target. I kind of set myself a goal to hit by the end of next year, and I'm close to hitting that already, so I might share it then. Maybe. We'll see. There we are. Golf clubs, just plenty of bubble wrap. You'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, if you can do collection, it's great, but the trouble with collection only it narrows down your audience. Let me just scroll. Yeah, so Tam, that is a the thing then, isn't it? Guided UPS have stopped. They're bad for a big money saver. Yeah, so UPS have stopped. I did hear that. Um, us resellers obviously rinsed it because I used to get loads of boxes, bubble mailers, uh, even the um, labels for the label printing. used to get them all from UPS. And don't get me wrong, I shipped the odd item for UPS, but one in maybe 100. Um, so now I need to find a new place to source my labels. Uh, let me just have a look here, just in case I've missed it. If I missed any questions, please put it back in, by the way. So try and keep up with the scroll. We've got 65 in, so I find it quite difficult. We're trying our best. Um, no worries, mate. Anytime. I love I love answering questions. And as I said, Dev, it's it's my opinion on things. Other people might have better, better stuff and better answers as well. Uh, thank you, Tam. Yeah, if anyone has got a youtube channel they want to plug or an instagram uh page they want to plug or anything my channel is all about that sharing so uh my spanners will put it in the chat there so please 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 plug your pages because again when i was starting youtube there were so many amazing people who supported me grow the channel 
and support me and when i was in the live chats uh chat sorry say you know please go and follow james's channel etc etc so i'm all about that so if anyone ever wants a plug as well and doesn't want to put it in the chat message me on instagram and just say on your next live could you do me a favor and shout out x y and z wherever it may be and i'll do it for you you know it doesn't cost me anything to do it and i want to see everyone else grow as well so uh yeah thank you tam and thanks for always being uh such a good spanner for me who always on the case with things all right so we've been going nearly an hour but has anyone got any more questions i normally try and keep these lives to an hour when i can um just give you guys another update of what's going on with me so video will be coming out this friday that's accountability next week on tuesday at seven o'clock on the live i've got a guest coming on to ask, ask me questions and we can answer questions in the chat and i'll be doing the hundred pound giveaway the thing you see scrolling across the bottom here um so someone is going to receive a hundred pounds and it's not going to be a voucher it's not going to be a hundred pound worth of my dead stock that i'm trying to auction off a 99p i will do a straight bank transfer to you a hundred pounds and you can you can spend it on stock you can spend it on a meal wherever you want to spend it on it's your money it's a gift from me to you and that's to celebrate one year on youtube so we've got that on tuesday then on wednesday i'm stupid enough to do another 24 hour stream so at 10 a.m we'll be live here and i will be listing items from 10 a.m on the tuesday uh, on the wednesday right the way through to 10 a.m on the thursday this room is going to be completely open i'm going to be sharing the uh, Streamyard link on my instagram pages i'll be putting it scrolling across the bottom here so if anyone wants to come in even if you want to come in you've never spoke to me before even if you're not a youtuber okay even if you don't do instagram even if you want to come in with your camera off and just say hello and you just want to spend some time listing items alongside myself and like-minded people especially if it's two o'clock in the morning uk time and it looks like i'm about to fall asleep please 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 come in and chat and for the people who maybe don't feel as confident um george as i mentioned who's saying 24 hours baby he he was confident enough to come in without even speaking to me last time and i've made a friend out of him and i hope he feels the same where now it's become that interaction thing where you get to speak to people you get to know people he's been on my live chat as well we chat on instagram i love following his journey so please 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 feel free to come the more support i can get the better it helps me get through the 24 hours because let's be honest listening on ebay for 24 hours is boring okay i'm gonna say it. i love ebay but listening for 24 hours is not great um i've already started to get a pile of stuff here ready lots of clothing and what i'm going to try and do is mix it up between clothing and everything um and my plan is to bring my big monitor from inside to have the stream constantly set up somewhere which allows me to still work on the laptop as well so we're going to give it a go we're going to go for 24 hours again and uh this time hopefully it's a bit warmer because last time it was january and it's freezing thanks alan good yeah please all go and sub to lucy and also thrifty george's channel as well please all go and sub 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 um i'll be popping in and out i really need to up my figures and that is another thing i will say hussies as well you don't have to commit to the whole 24 hours you know last time some people popped in for 20 minutes for a chat and they said right i'm off see you later good luck blah 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 some people stayed in the chat the whole time some people dipped in and out some people stayed the whole 24 some people came at the end which is really nice where uh we'll have a little drink to celebrate probably not going to have any alcohol at uh, 10 a.m or thursday morning because i'll probably finish that do my posting and go straight to bed and have a nap but uh we can have a we can have a soft drink or a coffee to celebrate so yeah everyone's welcome please 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 come in a new life resale thanks for being such a generous youtube and allowing us to plug out channel uh, plug our channels i'm following everyone in the chat it's what it's about honestly like there's so many of us resellers who do youtube and there's so many of us resellers who don't do youtube you know you might do a lot on instagram let's plug that in the chat you know if you've got an instagram page put it in there let's plug it because um it costs nothing for me to shout this out on my lives and i like giving back because you guys have been such a big support of me as well so I appreciate everyone in there. I appreciate everyone who watches the replays. I know a lot of people can't make the live because of family commitments, etc. But there's so many people who watch the replays back. So yeah, anyone who supports, I'm so grateful. 
Hillary says, thanks for all your advice, James. It's given me some ideas to try. Still a newbie at this. Hillary, we're all newbies at this. We're always learning. Um, as I said earlier, the advice I give is only my advice. I'm no expert. Um, I would never claim to be an expert. But if I can help you along the way, always happy to do so. There we go. Becky is a consignment seller in the States who goes live throughout the weeks, goes sub. Absolutely. So, yeah, please sub away to everyone. Yeah, leave the thumbs up. It does help. As I say, YouTube is not all about the thumbs up. It's not all about the comments. It's more about you guys enjoying the content, sticking around, watching the videos. So, uh, yeah, likes and comments always do help. But I don't like saying it every single video. Make sure you like and subscribe like you guys know. And if you want to subscribe to me, you want to put the notification bell and you'll do that naturally, hopefully by giving you the good content. That's fine. Yeah, everyone's out and about. Um, so, yeah, if you want to pop in for half an hour, even if it's just in the chat or whatever, Lucy, you're more than welcome. And there we go. Another follower for uh, a new life as well. So, oh, and another follower. Perfect. Well, thank you all. As I say, I will have a video out for you Friday. Hopefully some car boot sale footage if I go to Dirty Dunton on Sunday. Might film on Saturday. Who knows? Um, but next week, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Come and join me for the £100 giveaway. If you haven't, final plug for this, if you haven't, su uh, sorry, subbed, if you haven't donated to my fundraiser, I'll be so grateful if you could. I'm training for London Marathon. I need to get in some serious shape. And I'll be honest with you, before I sign up for this London Marathon, I've never run further than 10K. So this is four 10Ks and a bit more. So if you can make a donation, it's a charity close to my heart. It's a charity that's supported my little brother who was born prematurely. Um, his footprint there is tattooed on my arm here. It's a very important charity to my heart. So thank you all. See you. Well, you hopefully see the video on Friday. If not, I will see you back here next Tuesday for the £100 giveaway live. And let's have a good chat. One year on YouTube. Let's celebrate. Let's talk all things YouTube and eBay. But uh, have a nice evening and keep them sales coming in. Thanks, all.